unbelievable. Right. <laughs> but like. But like in, in yes. actuality, we are <laughs> about about one away from our goal at all times. And here, FD. FD. FD as our starter for Helper Love versus FD. Dill. Helper's yeah, strikes were Town and Kisu, and Dill's oh, strikes were Battlefield and Smash Bros. Yeah, Thank I put it. I put it between the players uh, for the gas review, so that like it's a little bit easier. Oh, to Thank I you. See. I like that. I was like, where'd the where yeah. the strikes go? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, using it in a blue port. Hmm? Okay, either way, we're over here on, uh, of course, on Final Destination. Personally, my favorite stage. And I can see why we banned the other stages, of course. You are not going to die from that. Thankfully, getting the back hit off of the side view, uh, keeping Helper alive a little bit longer with little old Sora. Yeah, so now Sora gets to... tries to fight his way out with the Thundaga, but the Arm Rotor Reflector keeping Dill safe and making sure that Helper loses that first stock. Guys, never forget. It's a Reflector. Never forget. It is a Reflector. It's a Reflector. Rob needs it. Rob does not need it. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. We're uh, still kind of chilling again with 8-10% to her name. And Helper is struggling just to get some kind of combo started with, uh, you know, combo little, little combo boy. Yeah, we were talking before about how the way that Helper plays Sora, Helper really likes to... Nice. <clears throat> really likes to let you dig your own grave, especially with like planking at ledges and such. But Dill is such a patient player, and I think Rob offers a little bit more flexibility that that game plan really doesn't work as much against Dill, especially here on FD, yeah. where Dill's just going to be able to set up so much space. And it turns out that the, the onus is going to be on Helper as Dill gets the second stock and using the Afterburner to really waste Helper's invincibility frames. You're absolutely right. And the issue at hand is that Helper is simply not taking control of center stage like the way that Sora would like to against someone like Rob. Uh, unfortunately, Rob does do pretty Ooh. well off stage, but where they really want to be is, of course, uh, center stage. And nice uh, situation for Helper finding in the second stock, the first stock actually off of Dill and kind of waking up in this, in this situation. Yep, and trying to get that great juggle game that we've seen before, but the way that Dill is just able to burn that up B, mix up her timing, it's going to make things so much more difficult for Helper in this matchup. Because, I mean, <clears throat> what Helper really needs, because the, the passive game plan isn't going to be as uh, useful against Rob, Helper's really going to need to pull out some of those long, like, uh, Sora loops that we've seen before. Yeah, you're absolutely right, and and Helper finally kind of um, bringing up the percentage once more. You saw a few really nice solid combos going on in the center stage there, and also that reflect, unfortunately, there's that, there's that gyro. Oh! oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, that didn't happen. That didn't happen. I think it did. And that, that really happened? I so, think so. So I, I want to really quickly see that last, uh, wait, just, just very last doc. I think, yeah, reflected or countered. Yeah. The so reflected try. Gyro. Yep. I see. I see what he. I saw the vision. I saw. I saw the vision. But <laughs> Dill reflecting the gyro just put it right back into her hands. Literally. It was like, all right, cool. I just get to set up a ledge trap now. That was literally like what Z drop, uh, gyro, and then, and then you just die because it bounced back up. Yep. Because it's light, so it went pop pop. <laughs> can we? Can we appreciate? Killing and reflecting at the same time there. I don't appreciate it. Like, that was just so funny. It's just like, no, nope. <laughs> doing. <laughs> it just like, goes back here. up. Okay. I, I don't think I've ever really seen Thundaga like reflected like that. Like, going back up. <laughs> yeah. I didn't think it went back up, like straight up to nowhere. It's like Mega Man up air. It's like, oh. <laughs> Tornado going downward. This is goes so funny. down. <laughs> oh my and god. You're fine. And Catching with the arm rotor, catching the slow floaty double jump of Sora. Now Dill has to make her way back onto the ledge. Didn't have a whole lot of gas left in the tank, but able to make it back regardless. And now setting Helper back up off stage, where he really just hasn't been able to play the game that he usually wants to with Sora. You know, typically Helper, no no stranger to being off stage, really comfortable off stage, but Dill has just. Taking that comfort, taking that safe space away. Yeah, Rob is one of those characters who, or one of the only characters who can actually contest people off stage as long as they really want. Um, of course, Rob being 
Rob with, you know, gas, with back air, with um, stalling, things like that make it very Ooh. difficult for a character like Help or like, like Sora, especially the way that Helper plays Sora, be comfortable with their usual game plan. Because those are validating all of it right now. Yeah, like, typically Sora is a character who's just so comfortable off stage. it's rare that he meets someone who is more comfortable off stage. who can yeah. really <laughs> spend that time out there and just waste all the resources. Okay, oh. Dill. So she went for it. Speaking of wasted resources. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that whole stock. I was going to mention, like, these are pretty much the only characters or some of the only characters that in the roster who can contest in the air for a very long time with one another. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it just being grounded right now is just working not in Sora's favor. Yeah. What is was happening? All right. It looked like Helper was trying to feint going to the yeah. left ledge, but Dill didn't bite, and it put Helper in kind of an awkward situation. But Helper was able to, you know, make it back. But right back at ledge once again does get the double jump forward air and able to set up for a juggle as well. Helper now bringing things to even percents. Ooh, just yeah. able to grab out of the uh, the Sonic Blade as well. Oh no. Oh yeah, no, you're fine. You're absolutely Sora. Come back right up the other side of the stage. Last hit Sonic Blade hitting do away from the ledge where she was likely going for, you know, down to uh, gyro flip and anything like that. And Helper thankfully avoid all that, keeping himself a little bit uh, live a little bit longer. Yeah, Dill had Gyro in hand. She was she was ready to go cover that right side ledge, but she was gonna barely cook. got caught. That shield looking pretty low on Dill right now as she's uh, trying to deal with all these spells. Back throw not going to be doing things quite yet. Helper trying to find things with uh, edge guard. Ooh, gets oh, caught I didn't even on see gyro. gyro. Yeah, Gyro pretty much just appears on this stage. Just so how Ooh. done. The, sure it is. the matchup knowledge from Dill just being able to roll right through the Thundaga and... <laughs> why, why duck? <laughs> why crouch? <laughs> but certainly not Oof. out of the realm of possibility for Helper right now. If he's able to get a nice. quick stock like that with the Thundaga and now dead even game pretty much. But back at the ledge again where it really feels like it's been Dill's game. Yeah, I think Helper is, is starting to kind of change out uh, his 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 position options. Instead of being in the air so often, he's actually trying to stay a little bit more in center stage, unless, of course, he is forced into the air, which still is absolutely forcing him in places that he thinks he's comfortable, and he's actually really not uh, due to Rob's air mobility. Ooh. Almost nice. getting uh, loops into a forward smash there. Dill not realizing that the gyro is still on stage and gets caught by the uh, top hit of the uppy. Helper trying to find gyro in hand, but instead just gets uh, gets Dill the space she needs to get back down into center stage. And now potentially set up for getting the game herself. Helper was looking for an air dodge right there, but I mean, we've seen before Dill doesn't have to Dill doesn't have to play by the same rules that other characters have. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you're right. And right now Dill is actually struggling Ooh. to stay alive. Cause that's game. <laughs> that, that is game. Helper was making game great use of that up that's air really. in game two to really contest Dill coming down aggressively. That that huge sigh of relief. I felt it. I felt mm -hmm. it all over here. That was a really hard game for Helper to come, really come back to and come back um, from, just because Dill was absolutely dominating the scene wherever she was kind of positioned in the air, on the stage, center stage, uh, on the ledge, what have you. And Helper was able to actually adapt and actually be like, you know what, I'm actually going to keep myself more on the stage just because trying to outdo Rob off the air and limit my options after X, Y, Z amount of time is not going to help me, is going to be better for Rob to tire me out in look, a way. Mm -hmm. Okay, look at this. I'm the, uh, yeah. the, the gyro extended the, the hitbox to stay in place. Uh, it's like he's swinging, and then it stays there. Yeah, it just stays straight and it's up. it's just like, yep, this is the danger zone. <laughs> <laughs> it's, the, it's the marker. This is dangerous. Don't be here. Yeah. Leave. And so like it just stayed there, and then... Wow. You know, sure, I think if Jarrah hadn't been there, that it, probably would have waved all the way over. Yeah, it would have kept going. Yeah. That sucks. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway, coming into TNC, which is usually a very helper-favored stage, 
but also very certainly a Rob favored stage, especially oh, with the yeah. way that Dill typically has been controlling the offstage game. We saw, you know, in game two, Helper found most of his victories in center stage, mm -hmm. and with especially with like the the top blast zones being as high as they are definitely going to be giving Dill more of an advantage, more survivability, as well as just the ability to kill a helper super early with uh, some good edge guard situations. You're completely right, and I, I would almost argue this stage is better for Rob rather than Sora. Um, Sora really Ooh. favors it, well, his own stage, Hollow Bastion, and stage with that middle uh, center platform by itself, rather than the rotating platforms of Town and City, which favor Rob because of the... Um, his his flexibility with combos. Oh my god, what's Good going tag. on? Nice, nice, okay. But you're, oh. ah! All right, only gets you're caught fine. with the dash attack. Helper able to make it back. Trying to keep Dill uncomfortable here at this <gasps> uh, going on? platform. This is really scary. <laughs> Where is she? I am terrified. That Please was a very help. That was <laughs> that was a scary situation for both players because one. You know who's who. You know where's what's going no. where. You're just throwing out Thundagas and Fire Agas, hoping Dill runs into it, and you're dead. Where did Jusuke Sako go? I was watching the entire time. Where did I go? <laughs> when did you die twice? Right, Dill off stage again, looking for a shark, but helper ready for it. Ready with the reaction, F tilt, and able to get Dill's second stock, but certainly a bit of a mountain to climb right now. This is, this is, yeah, this is actually a mountain to climb indeed. This is such a setback that Helper probably did not want on their, um, did not want right now against Rob. But thankfully, keeping Dill off stage where we can kind of continue these, uh, these other shenanigans with, uh, Thadnaga, Fireaga, and Blazaga, uh, con continuously will probably keep Dill on her toes a little bit longer, just as like we're seeing right now. Yeah, and Helper trying to continue this ledge sequence right now. Trying to fade backward, but getting arm rotored for his troubles. Helper shaking his head. You know, you know no one wants to get arm rotored like that. I also want to shake my head. Um, I, I'm, I'm gonna replay that. Actually, hold on. Yeah, we're gonna get replayed in a second. Cause look at this. Look at this absolute buffoonery. <laughs> so Helper was doing everything right up until this moment where he is truly. Oh, let me go back like five billion seconds. So Helper was actually trying to go back off of the the Scion Blade, and I actually thought that he was gonna be able to connect it um, against Dill right here, but unfortunately that just simply didn't happen. He instead opted to go a little bit more. Well, actually he tried, but Dill did faint back over here, making this area perfect space for things like side off, like like any smash attack, forward smash, mm -hmm. um, down smash, and of course arm rotor. So unfortunately, due to that awareness that, oh snap, I am stuck in free fall. Yeah, especially because the gyro is right there as well. Exactly, <clears throat> so gyro is here covering um, gang, gang on the ledge specifically. Don't start, Vivi. So <laughs> They're starting, you better let Don't the start. video play. <laughs> so here, you're going to see Helper tries to get back on stage, not able to get on the ledge with Magna Hands, and then that's that platform.